Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week now on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about social media because when I was first starting out, it took me a while to find my flow of being consistent on social media and I feel like it's mainly because there's a lot of information and videos out there that tell you that you need to be consistent, you need to post everywhere as often as possible and like you just need to overload with content and so I kept feeling really stressed out and like I wasn't posting enough and at one point I was posting three times a day on my Instagram feed as well as on my solo trip Instagram feed three times a day on both so literally I was posting so much and I've come to realize now that whilst it's incredible to be able to post often the quality also matters so it's really about just finding your own level of consistency and also your own level of like flow state because if you physically can only post once a day then that is enough and you don't have to try and create or post more and then let the quality fall down and even if you could get the quality up there if it takes time away from other areas of your business or like other creative things that you need to be doing then it's kind of counterproductive so I really feel like it doesn't matter how many times you post as long as it's like a consistent amount so it could be one time a day or it could be one time every couple of days or it could be twice a day but as long as you're consistent with that it's fine and even if you miss a day it's completely fine like I don't think it's actually the end of the world it's not going to destroy your brand and your business is not going to crumble but creating the flow state that you're able to stick to like it's a system where you're able to post at a certain frequency that works for you and then if you miss a day here and there it's fine you know but you have your kind of foundation of what you like to post, how often you like to post it, when you like to post it, you know, what time you like to post it. You have like a full foundational system of those things and you get clear on those things of what you're actually physically able to do and then you can kind of roll with it and just become more and more consistent and then before you know it, it's just kind of a normal part of your day. And a normal part of your business like habits and everything is that you post at those times at that frequency and everything but the pressure of needing to post forever and constantly and non-stop is just old and toxic and not necessary because whilst it is oversaturated and whilst there is a lot of content being posted on all social platforms every single day it only resonates with people if you have something important to say, if you have something to share, something that's gonna spark people's like attention and interest, then yeah, but if you're just posting for the sake of posting, then there's literally no point, point. and one of the things I like to ask myself when I look at um, all of my like feeds and everything before I post something, I'm like, okay, but will my audience actually care about this thing? Like, does it resonate with them? Does it relate to them? Are they going to be interested in it? Because if they're not, then what the hell is the point considering the whole purpose of my feed is for me to communicate to my audience, you know? So you want to post what you actually have to say, something that's actually of value and important, but the frequency that you do that is up to you and it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing, it doesn't matter what other businesses are doing, even if they're in the same industry, in the same niche, it really, really doesn't matter. You have to find what works best for you and what you can stick to and literally be productive in that way where like you're creating your foundation maybe you use a scheduling app like I use later.com and you just create the foundation and sometimes it takes a while to get that foundation laid like for me it's taken two years two years of posting having months off from posting and not posting anything like 
then up in my content level, lowering the content level, constantly just fluctuating and changing and trial and error, literally. So it's taken me two years to get to this point where I realise actually once is enough on my social feeds and if I miss a day, that's fine. And yeah, I could do three times a day. But my captions were getting less and less interesting, much, much smaller because I was trying to schedule it all out in one day and it was just too much content, as well as doing TikTok and like all of these other platforms and Twitter and everything. It's just too much. So you have to just pick the platforms that you thrive in, the ones that you enjoy, the ones that reach your audience the most, and then schedule it out at a consistency that you're actually capable and easily able to produce because honestly the burnout is real and we don't need to burn ourselves out in order to post a goddamn Instagram picture like we really don't need to so just find a frequency that works best for you and allow yourself the time and the space to build that foundation it does take a while and you'll get there and then before you know it you'll be consistent at it and you won't even realise that you're doing it because it's just kind of second nature, you know? So I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out the description box below for all links to my music, my social media, my phone number, my website, my crystal healing jewellery. I am wearing one of my pieces here. You can grab yours on my Etsy store. All of that will be in the description box below. And yeah, don't forget to just jip, 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 jip. Don't forget to... <laughs> Oh my god, I stumbled on those words so bad. But don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video because I do upload four times a week now. I've started vlogging my daily life, showing how to build a business. So if you want to check that out, that will all be in the description box below as well as on the rest of my YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I love